start big one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get my wires together while I'm talking to you. We got books falling all over the place. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, you can't even hear me because the microphone's over there. Hey guys, Ted Arabian here, Ted TV. We're continuing on our tour with Lindsay Karen. She's opening up her art show today at the Talking Stick. And we are following her as she's showing us her art show. Very strong. Hey. So these three pieces, are they each? What do we have here? They They're all, um, they all go together. Um, the first one on the left was the first one that I did and I liked it so much that I wanted to experiment with it more and do two more. And it became a triptych um, and it's sold all together. No one can buy only one because they all fit so well together and it's the way it's meant to be and um, I ended up doing three of them mostly based off of the recommendation of my art professor because practice makes perfect and um, the more you practice the style and the more you repeat something over and over and over again the more you learn about it and um, the better you get. That makes sense to me. Yep. Well I like the three pieces together that's for sure they definitely work together they belong together but I noticed you had a Oh, I see. That price is for all three. Yes, for oh, okay. all three. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I get it now. All right. And then, um, what, we have one more wall? Oh. All right. So here... This is Ted's favorite wall. I love this wall. <laughs> this one, I want to tell you, because I was looking at this today. This piece, and then that last one you showed, the one with the yellow in the middle, the water... Yes. I want those two on the same wall. And they just look, mm. they would go well together. They would, yeah. Uh, it just was kind they of picturing them. They have those neon them. colors. Yeah, the neon colors. Uh, and, and, and because well, this one is forest, and that's sea. It feels like sea to me. So I don't know. I just kind of like the land and the sea uh, of the two together. Oh, OK. So we're all over the place. Why don't we go ahead and get back to you? We'll put you on this side of me. OK. My phone's in this game. All right, let's talk about these. Um, well, the two yellow ones were done together, and that was also during a year of school. Um, and that was actually some of my first ones experimenting with this as well. Um, I was assigned something and wasn't working out for me at all, and I ended up slapping a bunch of gesso onto a panel and seeing where it took me. And um, I painted layer upon layer over this gesso texture and this is what it came out to be and it may sound simple but it's definitely not simple there is a lot of thought that goes into that um, the deciding of the colors and um, seeing where the texture will take you um, it's all very calculated and interesting it was definitely an exploration and that's something that I also love about the abstract work is that I'd never know where these paintings are going I don't know what they're gonna look like at the end um, so they're a complete exploration as it goes on, and it's very exciting. It's a little dangerous, I guess some artists could say, but um, at the same time, to me, it's just keeps me on my toes. And I think that's very it's exciting great. that you just have no idea where the art's going to go. I didn't mm -hmm. even think of it that way. It was really a, a yeah, because I can't imagine you have that in your in your mind, for, this is what my final painting is going to look like no, when it's no, all no. done. I mean, I also do pieces that are more calculated, especially like the social justice aspect of the, my newer work. It's very thought out and um, using the right images to convey the message, but these are more of an exploration. And it's also an exploration for the viewer's eye. You can take it in a million different directions. You can stare at it for hours, and you'll find new things every time you look at it. And I noticed um, you were purposeful in the direction that they hung. Um, they they have a top, bottom, left side, and right side, right? Oh yes, absolutely. Every That's single one. That's fascinating. Yeah, every single one of these pieces um, has composition, and composition's a key word for artists. <laughs> Write that down in your notebooks, kids, <laughs> because. Um, for every work, it looks balanced and it looks complete because of the composition. And I mean, if you would put this guy, let's say, on the side, it alters it a bit. It doesn't necessarily work with the layering of the paint and the balance 
it looks more balanced like this. And I may not necessarily know the direction that the painting should be hung in. There are many times I flip it around a million different ways before I finally decide on the way that it needs to be. But that's a learning process as well. That's awesome. And, and it, there's a great visual um, example that you just gave us because when you turned that sideways, it did not look right. Right, exactly. Right. Well, let's talk about the last piece on the wall here. Get this this here guy. This past summer I worked with a bunch of high schoolers and um, we did a lot of print making and basically we came up with a bunch of prints of the kids work and it all fit together in a mural commenting on um, the division in Milwaukee's neighborhoods and it's a big problem that Milwaukee faces. Um, it's very segregated and so the kids were describing this in a mural form and all of it was printed. So I learned about print making this past summer working with these kids. And um, this is kind of my representation in painting of what printmaking looks like. It's very calculated layering, um, just layer, layer, layer on top of each other, very distinct colors. Um, they, they don't really blend together much. They're all divided. And so um, I call it a silkscreen forest because it looks like it's almost silkscreened onto the canvas. Certainly does. I love the forest of it. I love that look. All right. Well, let's um, let's go sit down over here because my arm's getting tired and the computer's <laughs> getting hot. <laughs> so we have to keep these segments cut. Let me do. There we go. That was excellent. What time are we at? Good. Okay, guys, don't go anywhere. I'm going to stop this and then we're going to probably wrap up our interview section here and uh, we'll see what happens. Let me just get this stopped and up on YouTube.